Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a Sage Who Rises. Today, I will be doing the sun, moon rising of water signs. So, let's get to it. So, water signs. Oh, did we got the two of swords. You could be dealing with a Libra. We got the seven of swords in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. So, I'm seeing that um, somebody wanted you blinded to the truth. Okay? They wanted you to feel as though you were stuck in the middle. They wanted you to feel as though you had to make a tough decision. But with the Seven of Swords in reverse, I'm saying that something is clear as day. With the Knight of Swords, I'm saying that somebody could have attacked you. Okay, this could have been off of he say, she say. But it's getting somebody attacked you because you was this badass being that was full of life, love, and possibilities. Okay? This is why somebody attacked you. And this person was not able to steal from you either with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay? Yeah. With the Knight of Cups, I'm saying that somebody want to come towards you. A fake friend. Ace of Swords. And that's the motherfucking truth. They only want to come towards you because they know you got the truth. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles to the Scrim card, this could be a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, and a Leo. I really feel as though this is an egotistical Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn feminine energy. Why is the Two of Swords here for my water signs? Yeah, somebody wants you to feel as though you had to make a tough decision. But I'm saying with the high priestess, you're listening to your intuition. Even even if somebody trying to blind you of the truth, you still know the truth about a king of wands, seven of pentacles, and what he's investing in. Yeah. And if you don't, listen to your intuition about a king of wands. Because they're investing in trying to blind you of the truth. This is somebody who doesn't want you to be able to make a decision. Okay? Or they want you to be just blinded. Yeah. But with the nine of swords. Somebody is feeling guilty and ashamed because they know that you listen to your intuition. Four of swords. And they're going to have to lay something to rest. Two of cups with their partner. Okay. Or they're going to have to lay to they're gonna have to lay to rest trying to partner up with you. They're going to have to put that to rest. Because you already know the reason why somebody's trying to come towards you. Yeah. I'm saying that it's been exposed that you are this badass being. And this is why somebody is wanting to rush in. But with the Page of Pentacles, this person is going to have to be practical about whatever they plan. Eight of Wands, because that shit will backfire. Scrimp card, if they beat in their ego. Eight of Cups, so they need to walk away. Five of Wands, we're creating this conflict. Four of Pentacles, because trying to have control over you. King of Pentacles. So, you got a... You got a couple here. I really feel as though this Queen of Wands is somebody's mother. And is the baby mother of this King of Pentacles. This couple tried to hold you back. But with the Knight of Wands, this is an impulsive ass action. And it's because it's only closed out a cycle for them. With you, Queen of Cups, Four of Wands. This could have been an Aries who was obsessed with betraying you. Seven of Wands, that shit got blocked. Two of Pentacles because you was able to bring a balance to a situation or you was able to go through the ups and downs in life. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse? Yeah, something that happened in the past is being revealed. Yeah, that somebody did some magic. Hermit, for somebody to ghost you. Six of Wands, so that it could be seen as the victor. Page of Wands, but this is good news for you. Nine of Pentacles, because somebody ghosting you only made you such sufficient, independent Nine of Pentacles energy. Two of Cups, and now this person wants to partner up with you. Three of Wands, this could be a motherfucker that's at a distance from you. King of Swords, Queen of Swords energy. So it's like you and this person don't even talk to each other. But this person will be the first one to get on that. To get on that plane, that boat, whatever the fuck you do, to get over there to you. Yeah, moon card, this is what somebody don't know. Seven of Pentacles, that somebody wants to invest in you. Yeah, you got a Queen of Pentacles getting exposed right along with the King of Wands for causing you a heavy burden. Ace of Cups in love, trying to cause your trying to cause your love life an upheaval, trying to blow your love life up in the air. Uh-huh, a Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Yeah, with the Two of Wands, this, this was the path to the cups that a couple took. Just to have a happy life. Now they feeling foolish. Because they celebrated some shit. Thinking that they was going to be able to get something that was yours. And that shit backfired. Page of Pentacles. Because somebody was out this bitch being childish. Knight of Swords when they attack you. I keep telling you somebody attacked you because you was a bad ass being. Why is the Knight of Cups here? For my water signs. And you got a Pisces here. Okay. Yeah. This is a Queen of Pentacles. You got a Queen of Pentacles. That's trying to come towards you with this fake ass love. And they are about to be exposed with the sun card. Right along with the king of wands. Eight of wands for sending some type of projections to you. Six of pentacles just to receive something that was yours. 
Three of Cups. They was out this bitch celebrating. Fool card. Now they feel foolish. Ten of Cups. Because you still in this happy family life. Two of Wands, even though they chose their path. Three of Pentacles, this group. Nine of Pentacles to slow you up. Yeah, motherfuckers was spying on you to see if they slow you up, this group. This was the path they chose because you was in this Ten of Cups energy. You was enjoying yourself. You was in peace. You was happy. <laughs> Why well, is the Ace of Swords here? But yeah, you got some type of truth and clarity. Yeah, and it's like when you got this truth and clarity, you close out a karmic cycle. Ten of Swords, because somebody betrayed you for the last time. Ten of Pentacles, these could have been your family members. Nine of Cups. Uh-huh. You got tired of these selfish-ass family members, Ace of Wands, and the actions they were taking. So with the Four of Swords, you laid something to rest, Five of Swords, because you felt like motherfuckers just was just playing mind games. Just trying to win at all costs, Page of Cups. Now somebody want to apologize. Five of Pentacles, because you leave them out in the cold. Cherry, and when you left them out in the cold, you got some type of victory and success. Knight of Pentacles, because somebody was trying to slow you up. Page of Swords, they had the nerve to be trying to watch to see if they were slowing you up. This motherfucker is under judgment. Okay? They're under judgment. For real, for real. Their ass is under fucking judgment. So what we got going on for the water signs? Yeah, somebody was wearing a mask. But whoever this was that was wearing a mask, they weren't ready. They was not ready. Because you out here still being able to sleep good at night. And they're disturbed. Because somebody could have died or passed away from some type of illness. And they're fucking mad. Yeah, they're mad. That somebody passed away from an illness or some shit like that. And you're able to sleep good at night, but they're not because they're scared because somebody passed away from an illness. Yeah, this person that came up with this idea didn't know you was an introvert. They thought you was in some type of partnership that you cared about people, that you only that you only act like you cared about people to gain something. This is what somebody thought. This is why they came up with this idea. But they're realizing that you are a fucking introvert. Okay? Yeah. And now they want to apologize. Because they were supporting these friends. Because they thought they was going to have some type of stability. But they're realizing that this was a fucking risk. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Somebody was out this bitch trying to buy your motherfucking blessings. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that in the wintertime, you have the power of a witch's hat. So just follow the rules and your prosperity will come in. Because you could be a witch or a healer, but as long as you follow the rules and don't harm no one, you're good. Okay? You're good. Okay. So what we got for the water sign? Yeah, you got a sister-in-law competing with you. Watch out for this masculine. This person is trying to offer you help, but they're very sick. This person's motive is to have sex with you so that they can suck your energy. Okay? Yeah. Somebody is going to be like, they want to come through and chill. But this is somebody who made a profit off your work, an imposter. Mm. And we got a karmic father figure here. All right. So let's see what's going on. Who is this sister-in-law competing for your partner's attention? What is this about? Yeah, this is somebody that's from your past. Or this is somebody that's in the past. That's in lack and suffering. And it's because they thought they isolated you. But you're having a rebirth. <laughs> yeah. Why is watch this masculine offering you help has a very sick motive want to have sex with you so that it could suck off your energy? Why is this here for the water sign? Yeah, somebody gonna act like they have some type of strong attraction to you, but you need to keep yourself guarded, okay? And activate your higher self because there is a masculine here that's about to receive some type of karma. This is somebody that you need to avoid, okay? This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, but this is this person's wish fulfillment, okay? So keep your distance, all right? Why is they want to come through and chill? Yeah, this is somebody that you already cold and detached to already. Yeah, I'm saying that you already know your self-worth. You already know to, to what to expect. Yeah, this is the desires of a fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sage. Avoid this person, okay? Why is made a profit off your work, imposter? Don't get caught. Yeah, this could be pertaining to your messages, dreams. Yeah, I could be talking to a feminine. This could be somebody with Mercury placements, Virgo, Gemini. Yeah, Pertaining to a partnership, somebody is in an ego, vanity, and pride. And it's because of your twin flame. You need to avoid someone. A fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sage. 
Yeah, but I really like all these. It's like don't pay none of this shit no mind. Yeah, cause somebody's wearing a facade and they want you to believe them or family. Yeah, but you've already seen the truth about them. Yeah, they want you to think it's your twin flame doing all this shit to you. And like I said, you have a sister in law competing with you for your partner's attention. You got a backstabber who stabbed you in the back for no reason. They want to reconcile. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is somebody who judged, a, who judged a book off its motherfucking cover. And things are not what it seems. Yeah, because they're going through a tower now. A queen of wands, two of pentacles for causing some type of imbalance. Two ten of cups to your love life. Yeah, they are under judgment. And they feel foolish because their ass is being exposed. This is giving hater. Hater crew. Yeah, somebody was, bro, I cannot make this up. Somebody was literally in their ego because somebody was providing for you. Somebody wanted to choose to be with you. And with the Eight of Cups, somebody wanted somebody to walk away from you. This is like I said in the beginning, this was somebody's control tactic. Okay? 